ICBC has released data that shows there have been 2,200 accidents over the past five years at the Willingdon Interchange just over my shoulder. Although now construction is underway, that should help alleviate some of the problems. Since the highway was built in the 1960s, we've seen a significant amount of growth, particularly, I mean, along the entire corridor, but in particular at the Willingdon Interchange. And in fact, that area is one of the busiest sections on the Highway 1 corridor today. For traffic that's going, uh, heading from the highway to Willingdon southbound and then highway and then uh, Canada Way eastbound. Right now there's a very, very short merging distance if you're coming off Highway 1 and trying to get into that Canada Way uh, left turn lane. Another problem with the current situation are for vehicles turning eastbound onto Highway 1. This change where we're going to be adding that uh, new signal light and having traffic come underneath the highway uh, to access this new signal light is expected to take place in the spring to summer of 2011. Planning for the project began back in 2003 as part of the Portman Highway 1 Improvement Project. And Ryan assured me that the project is on time and will come in on budget. Rogner Hagen in Burnaby for BCIT Magazine.